This episode is brought to you by Grant Thornton, an audit, tax, and advisory firm that gets that cookie-cutter thinking doesn't cut it. Grant Thornton listens, uncovering fresh ideas that help you harness every opportunity and stay ready for what's next. More at GT.com. Only at Metro by T-Mobile, you can upgrade to 5G and get more savings with the lowest price on one line of unlimited 5G. Just $40, period. That's it. Taxes and fees included. Plus, more choices with the largest selection of free 5G phones from brands you love, like Samsung. Switch and save more. Only at Metro. Lowest price versus major national prepaid brands. The fraction of users greater than 35 gigabytes per month may notice reduced speeds, and Metro customers may notice reduced speeds versus T-Mobile due to prioritization. Video streams and SD requires eligible port in and plan. See store for details. Urban Legends Best Laid Plans The world is full of urban legends Remarkable stories that spread like viruses around Mutating and evolving Until one no one can remember which ones are true And which ones urban legends In this episode called Best Laid Plans You'll see three stories all linked by schemes Gone terribly wrong First up when a California couple confront a blazing inferno, they're faced with a sickening life or death decision. Stay away from me. Then a small town mayor gets a delivery of imaginable terror. Get up on your feet and face away from me. And finally, the story of a guilty lover comes up with a twisted plot for revenge. Watch all these three stories and decide which urban lessons are true and which ones are false. Find out if you guessed right at the end of the show. First is a story, what we should call, out of the frying pan. Meet Ronnie Blake, a woman who knows how to play with fire and not get burnt, but it is a lesson she had learned the hard way. I don't think I could even ever live through it again. In 2002, Ronnie and her husband, Derek, set up at their dream home in the beautiful hills of San Diego, California. Derek designed a particular house and came to grew because he grew up not too far away, he wanted to live there. A Blake's helm was perfect apart from one small detail. He built it in a tourist fire zone. It's something that we had to accept and live with. That we were to build here, we've always fret a fire. Lucky Blake, Blake is well aware of the dangers and taken every precaution to protect their house. Drake was a McGuire type. McGovern, a governor type person. He is very well read on all codes in order to be able to rent fires for each in the house. But in scorching summer of 2007, direct preparations were put to the ultimate test. A massive fire is raging only 20 miles away from their neighborhood. Fire marshals come to the house several times. Let us know that it's time to go. Derek has another idea. Derek was there each and every time, letting them them know they c- you could certainly manage this. Can you have a word for your husband? Maybe talk some sense into him. You know what? Thank you. We're not. We're not leaving. The house will be not will not be here tomorrow. It made me believe he knew what he was doing. At the door, saying you have to go. I didn't want to leave Derek's home alone with the house. There's no way he's going to leave that house. Thanks. The fire is now only five miles away. But somehow Derek convinces Ronnie to stay and put him, help him prepare the fight of their lives. Fire is very intense. It was all around him. It was obvious it was gonna, it was going, gonna, it was going to be a problem for them. They're too late to escape. The Blakes and a precious home are about to experience the full force of the raging forest fire. The winds were blowing towards their destruction. Okay, turn and get around. It's freezing, turn around. It's a very, very dangerous situation. I saw the roof catch fire. It was spreading quickly, so I grabbed my phone and called 911 right away. I don't know. I don't know what he asked them. If, if they had their proof of a pool or pond, or probably or anywhere close to get to, but with no pond on the pond, Blake were left alone with a burning problem. Hours later, the house under con- fire under control. The firefighters move in. But there's no sign of Ronnie. I'm Derek Blake. I found the house to be burnt thoroughly through. We didn't expect to find anyone alive due to the intensity, severity of the fire. Hello. We did search the whole property. And then I noticed an open hatch on the lawn. So I went to investigate that. Jack 
can believe what he finds. The blanks are live inside their full and putrid septic tank. But how did they get there? House had caught fire. The roof is engulfed in flames. With nothing but we could that we could do for the house. They've been disconnected from the firefighters. They're actually running around and saying, "No, we couldn't. We couldn't stay here. We need to hide out." He thought of, of the septic tank I was burning. Felt ill. I was choking. The smoke was unbearable. So he literally forced me, pushed me down the ladder. I was shaking. I was crying. I was screaming. Direct at this point is saying absolutely nothing. Uh, I don't know if he's in shock or what, but it certainly wasn't um, asking him, eh, having him anywhere near me. Stay away from me. I was so relieved when I heard of the firefighters' voices. I was very surprised when it actually hid in there, but it was of smart thinking, given the situation is horrible. I mean, we stay in the separate tank for about an hour and a half. That was the only place. You could read Ronnie and Derek. Merge alive, all covered in stinking sludge. But they survived a raging California wildfire. Unfortunately, their marriage will not. I just found it totally irresponsible that he felt the house was more important than ourselves. Did his husband's act of stubborn pride flush their home down the drain? Or can you smell the fake? We'll let you know at the end of the show. But before then, take a look, look at this mini-myth. Mini myth number junkyard jinx. I only couple ditched their old car in Berlin scrapyard, walking away when it started pouring. No long umbrella, they hopped back in the car to escape the downpour. Just when a crane operator swooped to drop their car into a crusher, the crane driver stopped. We heard a woman's screams. We're too late for her husband. So, well, well, so well, the German couple really crushed in their own car. Salt for the debris after the break. Welcome back to Urban Legends. For the break, we showed you an urban mini myth about a German couple crushed in a very car they're trying to get rid of in the junkyard. So, this is the true story. It was totally fake. No one could be quite that stupid, would they? On Urban Legends, we show you three stories. You decide which one really happened and which ones are mini legends. So far, we've seen the story of a California couple forced to hunker down in their own waste by the fact of fantasy. Find out at the end of the show. This is now uh, time for our next story. It's called Deliverance. Small town mayor, Chef Torero, is a simple man. He loves his dog, his wife, and his hometown, Berwyn Heights, Maryland. But even the mayor's seat couldn't could protect Sherry from terror that would descend upon his home in 2008. You know, if you know, it's not a pretty sight. I mean, he's uh, had three bullets in him. What makes his tragic terror tale truly bizarre, it was caused by a harmless-looking box. Again, on a summer evening, when Sherry took his dog for their regular walk. But tonight, the walk is cut short. Sherry was the rush... To an evening council meeting. Arriving at home, he notices the burglary and left a stoop. He opens it up. It was, you know, a very large, but not very heavy white box. I really thought nothing of it. Went back upstairs to get back into business at the time for my meeting. I was sitting on my edge of my bed when my Reverend Lord yelled out, screamed, heard explosion. It was followed by immediate gunfire. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, clear. There's no sound from Shiri's mother-in-law do- or his dogs. Then there were boots running through the- my house. Home, followed by yells and quiet gold on fire. Upstairs, up- st- down- upstairs, don't shoot, I'm upstairs. I'm going to scream, I'm up here, I'm up here. Don't shoot, please don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Let me see your hands. The man told him neither, told him neither who they are or what they want. Keep your feet, we get your hands up, keep moving. Coming to the sound of your inv- keep coming to the sound of my voice. Go look ahead. He marches down to the stairs. Then Sherry gets his first look at the masked men. They look like SWAT team, but that makes no sense. 
Why would a place break into your home? It's not at Metro by T-Mobile, we're giving you more savings. Get the new iPhone SE now with 5G at the lowest price in prepaid. Just $79.99 when you switch. I post a lot, so I need a phone that keeps up with me. And thanks to the iPhone SE with 5G and advanced 4K camera, I'm snapping and sharing while my followers are smashing the like button. Switch and get the iPhone SE for just $79.99. Only at Metro. Limited time offer, in-store only, price for 64 gigabyte model with eligible port, $60 plan, and ID. See 5G device coverage and access details at MetroByTMobile.com. Please, who, who is it? Jerry is scared to ask, and nothing like being forced to kneel at gunpoint on your own living floor. As a Mars man may set his home, Jerry makes a heartbreaking discovery. Your guy shot my dog. You just unloaded my... You, they, they had just unloaded on my two black Labradors and killed them. My other law couldn't weigh much more than a hundred pounds and be thrown to the floor. Shreya then notices something else. Peeves off his lawn. This can't be a home, this must be a, it can't be a home invasion. Shreya demands his rights. I don't think I have an answer any. I had, uh, I haven't seen a warrant. We have a warrant. It's on its way. Don't worry about that right now. I said I'm a man. The only one, the mom, the, the one member of SWAT team says, you know, this guy's crazy. He thinks he's a man. You're the mayor? I am the mayor. Hey, you guys, you're going to be in a lot of trouble when this is over. You guys shot my dog, okay? I'm innocent. I didn't, hadn't done anything. You guys, I think I've got to raise that up him because he's pointed out to the box. He said, do you know what is, what is in this box? It, it wasn't until the moment I put the connection to him what happened in the box. Tell me about this bo- that box. I don't know. It showed up the same day you guys did. Certainly there's something you know in that box that applied criminal behaviour. Finally, Cherie got his answer. Thirty-two pounds of my honour, which has nothing to do with him. All I did was bring it, up, bring it in unopened and set it on the table with a motion he would be involved in this notion that he would be involved this is absurd. After hours of question, the police finally said that Cherie is not the criminal. I think somewhere they went to cover the tail mode. They have found nothing to connect us to that box. But why was the box of drugs delivered to a local mayor? The other police investigation revealed that a Jamaican drug gang had shipped the grass to Cherry's home or planned to collect it from his doorstop. Stop. Step. But when police intercepted the package, the plan his plan was foiled. And Cherie's life turned upside down. I kept saying, you know, why didn't you knock? Why didn't you knock? We should have let, we would have let you in. But uh, what Sherry gets is far from apology. One well, of the police officers actually said to us, you know your house is lovely, your ha- and houses we raid don't normally look like this. A normal day turned into terror and chaos, all because of one box. But did it, but it really happen? You have to wait until the end of the show to find out. Before then, take a look at this mini, mini myth. Mini myth number three. 4441, cured by suicide. A retired British Army major was suffering from some severe division, depression. While money reached his limit and shot himself in the head. His wife came in later to find him tucking into a plate of bacon and eggs with a hole all the way away for his head. Instead of killing him, a bullet was actually in, then bottomized him. After a few months, his cured of his depression died ever having suicidal thoughts. Welcome back to the truth. Discover the truth of the legend break. Welcome back to Urban Legends. Before the break, we told you about the man who miraculously killed himself with depression with gunshot through the head. Is this true or false? It was completely true, but not totally recommended. On Urban Legends, we show you three incredible stories. Your mission is to sort the truly true when fantasies are called false. So far, you've seen the tale of the Blakes who were facing death for fools to min- marinate in their own bio waste. It was a, this is all your fault, and the story of Chavreau, Chave Chavreau, a small town male, ended in a big time trouble after being in the, in, in the story delivery. But, uh, but which ones are real and which ones are fake? Well, we'll reveal the end of the show. In the meantime, watch our final story. We named it with friends like these. Reporter. Florence Louie, who covers some strange cases, but the story about here takes the prize. Out of the belief in how people react when I tell them this. The revenge plots so strange that the twists so bizarre 
Even police have troubled believing it. Began in uh, Emberton, Canada, 2009. Derek Tibbet Andes and Michael Hancock are oh, once best friends, but something come between them. Derek trusted very few people, and one of those people he trusted was Michael. Michael breached it. Trust. He slept with, you slept with her, didn't you? No. Michael been sleeping with a woman Derek loves. I trusted you, you did all too much. But Derek had already was a history of depression. Derek had suicide of tendency in the past, attempted suicide and failed. Derek decides Michael must pay. A punishment for his betrayal or it will be to help Derek kill himself. This is your this is your punishment to kill you. Yes, Michael agreed to help Derek commit suicide. Pat was that Michael would stab him in the heart, make it look like a suicide. Come on, Bill Witts. You're the witch, you're gonna go for it. Just do it to do it, man. Really? Ready? Put the knife. But the knife isn't lined up right. Michael only punches a lung. Derek can't die instantly. But, it, but like he thought he was going to die. Call 911 in agonies of pain. Derek decides he wants to live. Derek decides he wants to live. Derek, Michael gets very nervous. He's thinking, oh my God, maybe set me up this whole time. Thinking Derek's real plan was to frame him for attempted murder. Mike decides to only escape to kill Derek and cover up the crime. There's been something spots but the fight. I can't tell if it's real fight or they were just fooling around. Michael flees the scene, believing he's killed his best friend. Derek is in critical condition. At one point he's coughed and you can feel the air come out of his chest. As Kerry desperately tries to save Michael's li- Derek's life, Michael stab and escape back fires. He ends up looking his keys in the car with supposed to get rid of all the evidence. Clearly no credible mastermind, but he knows he's in deep trouble. He goes to the only person he knows he can, his father. He doesn't know exactly what Michael told his father. I would he stabbed his best friend. Michael's father persuades him to turn himself in. Police arrive to question him. Michael confesses to stabbing Derek, but instead assists Derek set him up for murder, punishment for his betrayal. He tried to frame me. But Michael isn't the only one talking. Derek's still alive. Derek said that, yeah, I wanted to die. It was... But I wanted Derek denies. He said, Derek, Michael, he says he really wanted to die, but neither of them know that in eyes of the law, it makes no difference. There's no difference to Derek, mm, as he's not against the law to kill yourself. He's not against the law to ask someone to kill you, but he is against the law to assist in a suicide. Michael gets seven years in jail, but Derek walks away, his romantic rival, out of the picture. So this tale of the buddy betrayal Terrifying, true, and mysterious, mercy misleading. Why not true? For, I mean, all three stories after the break. Welcome back to Melbourne Legends. So it's time to reveal the truth about our three incredible stories. First up is the story of Ronnie and Blake, Derek Blake, whose quest to save their home from the California forest fire ended with them seeking refuge in their own ref- refuge. But it's a fact of fiction. My name is Oresti Parodi. This story is a load of crap. The story of septic tank survival is totally fake. Though there are many urban legends of people forced to take, make disgusting choices to save their lives, physically impossible to survive a septic tank due to the gases. Next, to tell the squeaky clean mare whose drugs were killed and her home tore to shreds. Three bo- a box landed on his doorstep. It happened. My name is Shavo Shavo. Unfortunately, it's a true story. These cops really did shoot first and ask questions later. The box was part of a drug smuggling operation. The shell had absolutely nothing to do with it. Which leaves you the story of Derek Tablet Andy's revenge plot. It's so strange, even local police were dumbfounded. But is the story betray? Did this story betray your trust? My name is Derek Dan Jones. This is a true story. It's an unbelievable story. A troubled man, his misguided friend, is totally true. Did you guys know there's a medication that is proven to treat migraines and prevent episodic migraines in adults? It's called Nurtec ODT, Remedjapan, 75 milligrams. If you suffer from migraine attacks, talk to your doctor to see if Nurtec ODT is right for you. Don't take if you're allergic to Nurtec ODT. The most common side effects were nausea, stomach pain, and indigestion. 
For important safety prescribing and patient information, visit nurtec.com. Only at Metro by T-Mobile, you can upgrade to 5G and get more savings with the lowest price on one line of unlimited 5G. Just $40, period. That's it. Taxes and fees included. Plus, more choices with the largest selection of free 5G phones from brands you love, like Samsung. Switch and save more. Only at Metro. Lowest price versus major national prepaid brands. The fraction of users greater than 35 gigabytes per month may notice reduced speeds and Metro customers may notice reduced speeds versus T-Mobile due to prioritization. Video streams and SD requires eligible port in and plan. See store for details.